What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another exciting episode of Taking a Risk with Georgios. We're here in the Keys and we're going exploring. If you, and if you want to go with us, smash that thumbs up button and let's go! Of course, before we get going, the honey just showed me a project that we've got to do. We, we want to put a new backsplash on here, so I've got to take this part off. And I've already started, and you can see it's really sticky, and it sliced me. Slicing and dicing. Eventually, there it is. Look at that. Just took a big old chunk out of my finger. But we're going to get this done, and then we're going to go on an adventure. My little sweetie pie over here taking care of Dad. You're so cute. She put Neosporin on me and everything. Thank you so much. Oh my, oh my goodness. All right, so quick and easy, this does come off once I was able to get my finger behind it. It just comes right off, I think. Ooh, that's a much more adhesive on this side. Oh yeah. Ooh yeah. It's hard doing this with one hand. I wish I had an assistant. All right, now that I got the right hand on it, it just comes literally right off. And I just put up this paper towel holder, so hopefully it doesn't get knocked off when I do this. I'm gonna try and maneuver around it. All right, beautiful. All right, so getting set up, I'm getting laid out, getting an idea, a few tools I'm gonna need, a long straight edge, a tape measure. These are all tape measures technically, but this is gonna help me draw my lines. An old razor to get the gunk off of the wall and a new razor to cut these pieces, which I'm not even sure what type of material these are made out of. They're not tile, but they serve sound and feel like tile, but they're easy to cut with just a straight edge. And of course they have the adhesive backing, which will make it nice and easy to just stick on there. I am thinking about getting the spray adhesive as well, just to make sure it double sticks. So I'm gonna get started while everybody else does what they're doing. All right, so I got impatient while the honey was away and decided to pull out my uh, saw there and ended up cutting it. And I'm gonna use the razor blade to fine tune whatever little edges it may have made. There's only one right here, kinda. But that's not bad, I actually really surprised this material held up. So I don't know what it's made out of, but it's pretty durable. All right, so we're gonna peel this stick goo part off. We'll see just how good this sticks. I'm probably gonna need some spray adhesive, but we'll see. Yeah, let's get that out of the way. Yeah, yeah let's take that. good already. <laughs> Easy peasy sticky wheezy. Wow, so and it feels cool too. I know, I like the sound. There should be more spacers, but if I can eyeball it. Alright, here's piece two going in. Pretty freaking good. All right, the honey's taking the kids to the park because dad's taking too long before, so nobody wants to learn nothing. I don't understand. I'm pretty sure when I was little, I loved watching my dad do stuff. He was so kind and patient. But here we go. I've got the next piece cut out, working diligently to get all this put together so I can hurry up and get back to the family because I'd love to be doing what they're doing. Of course, but dad is all work and no play. Oh my goodness, I eyeballed that, folks. And that's what you get. <laughs> All right, so after much finagling and so many delicate movements, having to take it off and put it back on, I used all the spacers I could. They only came with a handful. I wish they would have came with a lot more. There it is. The backsplash is officially on, and I am so ready to go join them. They ended up leaving the park. They came back, and they want to go to the pool, so they went to the pool. It's been like two hours since I started this because this last part was so difficult to try and level and get it evenly in there that I was having to take it off, put it back on, take it off, put it back on. These pieces are not stuck together with the biggest, strongest adhesive. It is just like a thin piece that just barely holds it on. So I'd pull it off and a piece would rip off, which is okay because the little hexagons, I can put them back where I need them. has actually worked out much better. I was actually taking some of them off like that and putting them perfectly positioned. You can see I've got some gaps here, but that's not a big deal because what I am going to do next is I'm going to run to Home Depot or Lowe's and this is all empty right here. This empty space. And you can see the adhesive was black. If you didn't see it earlier, here's a piece right here. You can see you take off the white piece and it's black underneath, which I love. But what I'm gonna do now is actually go and get some grout 
grout and some sealant, and I'm gonna grout the whole thing with that black, and it's just gonna pop. I don't have to do that, but me being me, and me wanting to impress the honey, because, you know, I might get lucky if I do that, it's gonna look so good when I'm done. All right, but all that's gonna have to wait, because this is an absolutely beautiful day. And I'm gonna go join them in this pool, and then maybe we'll go do something else, but I wanted to show you guys something. Check this out. All over this island there is cell phone towers and that is such a miracle and a blessing because we've been having issues with service just just about every rv park we've been to but this one fastest internet i love it and look at this beautiful area over here so they do have a putt putt course but it's literally i think just right there maybe there's one hole maybe there's two a giant sand pit area there's a huge playground right here tons of stuff to do and this is more of a i wouldn't say an older community but there's definitely a lot of retired people here. A lot of young couples as well. No, oh, I think I'm lost. Oh, look at that. You got beach volleyball. You've got cornhole, basketball. I'm not 100% sure I know where the pool is. I think I'll just wander. There's nothing wrong with that. Oh, they're playing cornhole under the covers. That's smart. This is B E A beautiful. No way. And the mobile massage guy is here. Ooh, the honey doesn't have to know. All right, y'all. So I came back. The kids and daughters are at the pool. I came back to make peanut butter and jelly. You guys already know. I got to figure out how to open this without George George because this is really giving me a struggle. Um, but I'm going to make some peanut butter and jellies, grab some drinks, and drop it off and allow them to enjoy a delicious little lunch. And then mom is going to go out paddle boarding with a couple of friends that we met here in the Keys. And I'm so excited, so you guys get to actually come with me. Um, I'm gonna steal Georgia's phone, so shh, don't tell him, okay? Okay, so I am heading out to paddleboard with Cassie from Wild Thorn Bailey's. And <laughs> I went to the wrong entrance on accident, but I asked somebody and I am headed to the right place and she already has her extra paddleboard waiting for me. And literally, this is about to be an experience of a lifetime. Let's go. All right, y'all. I freaking made it out here. And I think I got stuff on the camera already. Hello. Huh? Oh my God, I know. <laughs> Film me getting out here was uh, pretty embarrassing, actually. <laughs> Okay, I finally made it. Um, it was a struggle, but I started all the way over where those palm trees are, and I'm all the way out here. Like, I am so proud of myself, and this is absolutely beautiful, but I cannot paddle um, with the camera in my hand. I don't think. Um, I'm not as good as George George is, so let's see if I can just set it up. Maybe. We'll see if this works. See if you guys can. Well, maybe. Ah. Okay, let's try that. Nope, not gonna work. All right, you guys, so we made it to Conk Island. I'm about to reel in the rest of the way, and then let's go check out some conks. You guys, look at this beautiful island. I'm gonna get out. Huh? and take you guys with me let's go maybe <gasps> look you guys he's hiding uh -oh. all right let's see if i can get him I'm gonna move this one more time. Look, look, look. There he is, there he is, there he is. Got him. You can walk along here and there's jobs of them. What is that called? They're black and spiky and usually poisonous. Sea urchin. Sea urchin. You can actually pick them up, but do you think this will stay? Yeah. I should have brought my freaking sandals. I have really good ones for this kind of walking too. I didn't even think we it was low tide enough to come over, I forgot. Hmm. 
All right, look how beautiful this is, you guys. Let's go see. There's a sea urchin. And then... The forms, I don't even look at them. The crab is right there. I'm not gonna grab the crab or disturb him, so. I wish George George was here so he could do all this with you guys. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at this little hermit crab and his shell is so beautiful. George George and the kids would literally be so excited that I found a hermit crab and I am definitely gonna need to bring them back to the conch island. You guys, check this out. I'm not exactly sure what this is, but if you know what this is, let me know in the comments. All right, you guys, so I did not get to film as much as I wanted to yesterday. Unfortunately, I did trip over a huge rock, fell into the ocean, and I did sprain my wrist. Um, it doesn't look bad by any means, but it is so painful. Um, and then <laughs> I had to row all the way back um, to the RV park from the middle of the ocean in Conch Island and it definitely bruised it a lot more. No, I did not go to urgent care or the hospital. Um, I am gonna go later on today to get a brace for it, so that way that um, it kinda like keeps its shape or whatever. But that is the reason why I was not able to film as much of the beautiful island as I wanted to. Also, I did have my phone and George's phone on me, and we all went into the water. Thankfully, both phones are perfectly fine. The only thing that hurts um, my ankle a tiny bit, but my wrist, because it is sprained, it is so painful. Um, so, if you enjoyed the adventure, make sure to like, follow, and subscribe along for our journey. And thank you so much for staying tuned 